Hello, Military Views UK here, and welcome to another video. This video is about the British Mark I infrared night vision aids. Basically, uh, night vision goggles. Right, so these are very early uh, night vision devices. Uh, not the first, but um, uh, I think they're from around the uh, 60s. Uh, 70s, 80s, more like these 70s, uh, and as you can see, they are used in conjunction with a Mark IV or V steel helmet. Uh, they attach to the helmet uh, with some clips on the front and back. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. You can see the clip there. I'll get one from around the back. Uh, yeah, that's a lot better. You can see it clipping on there. Um, the goggles flip up and down, which I'll show you soon, um, and using this, uh, this twist you can bring them forwards, back and up and down to adjust them correctly for the wearer. Um, on the back you have the battery pack and power switch, you can see the battery, the power switch there, there's no battery in so I'm going to just off at the moment, it's going to flick it on. Switch just flicks forwards and it turns on. Let's do that to turn it off. And this is powered by a, I uh, can't remember what it is, but it's an everyday uh, battery you can get. It's like the big ones, I uh, can't remember what they're called, D cells. I've got in my head for some reason. Um, and these, can, these aren't sized or anything, they can be put on any helmet. Uh, any size helmet. You can see the uh, elastic inside the uh, the screen fabric bit, which allows it to stretch over the helmet. Um, these are in working order, um, but only one of the uh, intensifier tubes is present, and I highly doubt I'll be able to find a second one, or even replace the one that's already there because uh, that one's a bit broken. I think it got exposed to uh, sunlight or something. Yeah, these weren't used in uh, combat at all, because uh, as you can see, they are quite heavy and cumbersome, and they uh, they need a uh, infrared light source to uh, operate. So, uh, these were more likely used by uh, drivers uh, of uh, logistics uh, trucks and lorries or tank drivers possibly uh, also they uh, they were stored in a box which would have been very uh, cumbersome and hard to carry around on a battlefield and these are uh, rubber bits around the eyepieces if you were going over a bumpy road or whatever uh, it would stop them from hitting against your face. Um, yeah, and the infrared light source would probably come from the headlights of the uh, vehicle. You just put some infrared filters on them. These are pretty heavy to wear, especially with the helmet as well. So that would also not be particularly good on a frontline battlefield. Um, I'm not sure when mine are dated specifically because. Uh, Mine didn't come with the box, and I think the date is on the box. Um, so now I will attempt to show you the uh, flipping up and down action of the goggles. Just place the camera on the tripod. Right. So this is the uh, flipping action. Obviously, if you weren't using them, you would just flip them up like that, so you can see normally. And from this angle you can sort of see the um, inside of the eyepieces, like they're just made out of glass I guess. Um, and I can remove these things and give you an inside look of the goggle, like just so you can see inside, there's nothing in it really, but it might be interesting. So this is the inside of the goggle, as you can see it is missing the intensified tube, you can see straight through there. And uh, this is the eyepiece with the rubber attachment. 
can see the uh, glass uh, magnifier thing and some sort of spring there and then this piece of plastic which just came out I assume it's some sort of casing for the uh, intensifier tube um, that's pretty much all the info I have about this piece uh, sorry there wasn't a lot of information in there uh, but this seems to be quite a rare piece and there wasn't really much information about it out there uh, and what I did find on the internet I already knew um, like from finding out before or just um, common sense like for example the squishy eye bits for stopping it hitting against your face uh, but yeah if you know anything about this piece that I didn't mention in this video please uh, leave it in the comments because uh, it's always good to learn more about pieces I already have in fact do that on any of my videos uh, so yeah thanks again for watching this has been the uh, British Mark 1 infrared uh, night vision aids uh, yeah again thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video goodbye